Yo, what's up guys, your boy Nigel Storm here, welcome back to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So, from my previous Cartier video, I did do like an M0 showcase and stuff. And for the most part, everything that I've said there, I think is pretty much correct. Um, the only thing that I haven't really confirmed is the, the spread and the single shot. Um, but what I have learned from it is that spread shot um, uses up less S energy over time for about similar damage, assuming you're close to the enemy. And then obviously single target outside of turret form will get you more S energy when trying to regain it back. But this video is something very simple. It's mainly talking about her logistics build. So this video isn't going to be that long to begin with. Now, first of all, the new logistics squad set is probably her best in slot. Um, mainly because you do want to move around with her. To, to reposition and the three second duration here can be extended when you dodge to move uh, meaning you can actually keep up the 20 stacks forever as long as you're shooting and stuff like that and obviously the free attack you know gaining damage from different sources at the same time allowing her to gain more damage overall now this is mainly just talking about the logistics uh, substats so I believe that Katya has three, up to three builds, mainly two, but possibly three. And you would probably want to switch around between these two builds. Um, for example, if you want to go do co-op with her, for example, then you'd probably want to use a different, uh, different talents. So obviously the first build is attack percent and alignment index, something like this right attack percent and alignment index this is this is probably your most damaging build for Katya and essentially you just have the same two stats on all three of your logistics that's for maximum damage because if you check her alignment uh, index the alignment index buffs her legacy of cunning they was alignment which deals well 35% chance to deal additional damage equal to 35% of attack plus 200 as frost damage increasing by an additional 7% of attack for each 100 alignment index right <clears throat> which is very nice now for the most part obviously it's very nice to just have maximum damage it's just that when doing co-op in my opinion you will have you will run into some um, occasions where your S energy is kind of a bit on the low and then you'll have to spend like probably like 5 to 10 seconds well probably mostly 5 yeah 5 to 10 seconds uh, normally shooting to gain S energy back right and obviously you don't want to do that you want to enjoy the turret mode and that's where the second build comes in there's more so a co-op build or if you're unable to defeat the enemy in one rotation, right? Because if you're unable to defeat the enemy in one rotation, whether or not you use attack percent and alignment or attack percent and something else, then, you know, there's not really any difference, right? In any case, second build is attack percent and S energy recovery bonus. And obviously the third stat is obviously frost damage. And this is the second build. Um, I'm probably gonna try and get at least something like this and attack 10% at least on every on every logistic piece first before I try and go for more specific ones uh, mainly because attack percent is at least um, the most consistent in terms of increasing damage output because the day was alignment uses the attack stat for extra damage so rather than increasing alignment because 7%, right? Rather than 7% increase in this damage for 100 alignment index roll, you instead get a 10% increase in attack for um, for one talent instead, you know? So it's like picking and choosing. So yeah, that's the second build. The third build, I don't think I, I don't think I have an example for it, but it's essentially um, attack percent, attack percent and uh, U energy recovery. So yeah, I don't have anything here, but but yeah, attack percent and the U energy uh, recovery. 
Um, we'll just go with this one. Just assume that this is U energy recovery. So something like this for the third build. Um, I'm not sure where you would use this, but you know, just in case, maybe just if you're if you have the spare points from the sh from the event shop, uh, I guess you can try and go for attack and U energy recovery. But for the most part, you will be fine with only attack and alignment index. It's just that it's just the attack and S energy recovery bonus. It's just a bit more for fun factor. But in terms of damage difference, obviously, you could try and get as much damage as possible. It's like a 21% of, of attack difference if you're losing out on 300 alignment compared to just getting both. But, but yeah, that's pretty much about it for the uh, logistics build. And yeah, if you got any more questions in regards to Cartier's build or anything in general, please do let me know that in the comments below. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, I might have rambled on for a bit. I, I just wanted to make sure that it's all explained, uh, all explained properly. But yeah, it's been your boy Nigel Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video.